Hey everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I am so excited to finally sit down and do a little get ready with me with you guys. I don't feel like I've done one of these in quite some time, so I'm very excited to do so. I am focusing on a bunch of drugstore products. You guys know I keep mentioning that this year is the year I really want to dive back into drugstore products. I feel like I really neglected the majority of them last year, including drugstore items that everyone has been saying for years is kind of the best and I just haven't tried them. So this year I'm determined I'm going to try these things. Now the goal is not to pick up like a full face of like a full face of drugstore makeup every month because that would just be a lot of makeup. Just a small handful of things to test every month. If there is something that you feel like I really should try, make sure and leave it down below. I'm all set with my matcha latte and let's get going. So I'm going to start with a little bit of pore blurring primer. This is the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base and I'm just going to put this on my nose. Okay, so I had to finally try this product. I resisted trying it for the longest time just because I felt like it's a type of product I don't really need. I feel like I get a lot of glow already from my base products, from my skincare and my sunscreen, but then I saw people using it to like mix with liquid blushes to create kind of a glowy blush. And I was like, ooh, okay, that looks fun. <laughs> But today I am going to be using it as a primer, but just on like the outside perimeter of my face. I tried this the other day and I thought it looked so nice. I'm using the lightest shade. So while I'm still getting my thoughts together on this, I never did say what this is. <laughs> if you haven't seen this before, this is the Halo Glow Liquid Filter from e.l.f. So I'm still kind of wrapping my mind around this product. And as pretty as it has been the few times I've used it, I still, I don't think I would be able to use it personally as like my only foundation base product. It's just a bit too glowy for my taste for that. But it does have some coverage, which I'm not one who really cares about a ton of coverage anyway. So if you like very glowy skin, I could absolutely see someone using it as their main coverage product. Okay, I think that's actually very pretty. Now I'm going to use my Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. I still really like this stuff. I use the shade number 40. And since this is more of like a natural satin finish versus glowy finish, like a lot of my products are, this works really, really nicely with the e.l.f. Halo Glow. So while I'm putting this on, I have to tell you about the most beautiful thing that is happening in my area right now. It is intense fog that is rolling in pretty much every single night and morning and it's creating the most intense hoarfrost on the trees and it has been building up pretty much every single day because it's been foggy every day and it is the most gloriously beautiful <laughs> i hate to use the word magical really but magical <laughs> looking vista outside my house right now. It honestly brings me back to my childhood. I remember running around in the woods as a small child and loving like kind of gently pushing on the trees. It would make that hoarfrost come loose and come down to the most beautiful like diamond twinkle dust and flutter around my face and it would get all over my hair and my coat and my boots. I just felt like a little woodland princess out there. And there's something about too when the branches are all covered in hoarfrost like that, the world is just so quiet. It's just very, very meditative and soothing to the soul just to go spend some time outside right now. It's just amazing. I think that is looking pretty nice. I recently repurchased my favorite concealer. I worked on panning this last year and I really missed it. So I decided to get again. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. It's the one that has a little brush and it does not have super intense coverage. Like I don't get very blue under eyes, so I don't need something really intense. And I've been sitting here clicking it. This is a new pen, new one. And it's not coming out very quickly. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So this product, I mean, I did get Fair 15W, which is the shade I had last time. And I always said it was too light but I didn't like the look of the other shades. So here I am with it again. I guess what I look for in a concealer is just kind of a hydrated under eye that kind of conceals the uh, change from like your under eye skin to your cheek skin. You're like, there's like, almost like a line right here. <laughs> I just want something to help with that. And I don't want it to ever look like I'm actually wearing makeup under there. So this one from e.l.f. is just perfect for that. Ooh, I got a bit much, but this blends in so well. Oh, love it. I'm trying to keep everything in this video at drugstore, but I actually don't even know um, how affordable this brand is. This is from Butanique Beauty. It came in a random Ipsy bag a long time ago, and this is the current brow gel I'm trying to finish. I really don't care for it. 
If I accidentally lay down too much, which is very easy to do, it leaves kind of that white goopy stuff in your brows. But I have it, so I'm trying to finish it. For brows, I recently picked up the L'Oreal Brow Stylist. I know I always like the LA Girl one, um, so that's usually the one I buy from the drugstore, but I'm like, there, I know there's so many other options. I kind of want to try the other ones. So I finally finished off the brow product, the brow pencil I was using for, I think, the entire year last year. So I picked up the Brow Stylist in dark brunette. So far I'm really happy with the shade and it is a micro pencil. Nice and small. That is what I prefer. I had to laugh. I must have been having a good brow day the other day and my daughter noticed she's like, how are your brows so like perfect? And my husband, he's all looked over, he's like, how did you do that? <laughs> I was like, hey, apparently I have finally learned sometimes how to do my brows. <laughs> I told them, I'm like, I just filled in the bald spots. It's not too creamy, so it's very easy to control. So I like that. Okay, shall we talk about blush? This Revlon blush. So I don't think I've actually heard a lot of YouTubers talk about this blush, but I did see Jen Phelps mention it. And then randomly, I see people in comments when they're talking about good drugstore makeup, people talk about these Revlon blushes. And I'm like, I need to understand. I want to try it out. So I picked up the shade Apricute. And from the very first time I swatched it, I was like, oh, okay, it's a nice blush. It's very silky. And this color is a good color too. Oh, I realized I didn't do bronzer first. It's okay. We'll come back. I want to get the blush on. So it's actually fairly powdery. Uh, you probably can't see that. When you put your brush in, you did get quite a bit of kick up. That sort of thing has never bothered me. I tend to just tap it into the pan anyway, so it doesn't get wasted. See, there's good pigment. Ooh, I'm gonna try and keep my blush kind of high today. M messing around with blush placement, I think, is so fun. So yeah, this blush does not suffer from a lack of pigment. I would say it's on the satin side. Definitely not matte and definitely not glowy. But it sits really nicely on the skin. I feel like I look kind of funny at the moment, but we'll see how I do once I get bronzer and stuff on. I think it's actually quite good. Have you guys tried? These Revlon blushes, let me know what you think of them. Okay, I actually didn't pick up a new bronzer or highlighter for this video, but then a friend was decluttering her collection and she gave me this face palette from Pacifica. So I've been trying it out. I like it so far. I haven't yet decided if I'm going to keep it because because I have so much stuff, you know, <laughs> but I have been enjoying it. I want to use it today. So I'm going to use the bronzer. This is a matte bronzer. I can quick swatch it for you. Just... Nothing too special about it, but I like it because it's not too deep. This is another palette, by the way, that's quite powdery. You get lots of kick up. But I like the shade of the bronzer because it's not too dark and not too orange. This face palette is definitely for, you know, fair to light skin just because of how light the bronze or how light, the, yeah, how light the bronzer is. And I'm going to use the highlighters. So there's two highlighters in this palette. The kind of rose gold one up here and then this one that's just called Glimmer, which is a champagne. I'll quick give you a swatch of both. So there's the rose gold one. There's the champagne one. The champagne one works for me. The rose gold one, I would probably have to use more of an eyeshadow. I have dusted it on the tops of my cheeks before as like a blush topper and that worked okay, but it's kind of right on the edge of too dark for me. It's kind of the frustrating thing about cheek palettes. Not every shade is going to work, but I'm just going to use this flush, flushy, <laughs> fluffy brush and just kind of dust it on. I don't think the highlighter is anything to get like super excited about, but I like it just fine. It doesn't, it's not glittery or sparkly or anything. And I'm just gonna use my sponge to blend it together. I always like the way highlighter looks when it's been dampened just a little bit. Yeah, it's even brighter now. Kind of melts into the skin better. Okay, that's pretty. Have you guys tried this palette? What do you think? I've never actually tried anything from Pacifica before and I've kind of avoided the brand because I feel like every time I see anyone talk about it, it's a pretty negative review. <laughs> a lot of their stuff, people really don't like it. Um, but so far I'm enjoying this little palette. Let's do eyes, yay. So the one little eye thing I picked up is one of these little glitter toppers from e.l.f. So I picked up the shade Disco Queen, which it does have fairly, I don't want to use too chunky because chunky really makes me think of like the 90s glitter, but this is, you know, more chunky than something that I have really in my collection in terms of glitter. But it is very, very beautiful. Like when you put it on full opacity like that, I know you guys can't really see it, but it has red, purple, blue, green sparkles in it. So I'm gonna put something else on first and then put this over. I still haven't decided what I'm gonna put on. I think I'm gonna dip into my Going Coconuts palette and I think I'm gonna use 
this shade here called Shell Yeah. And I'm just gonna put that through my crease just to have a little bit of a base to go with that e.l.f. shadow. Oops, I realized I forgot to put eye primer on. <laughs> Whoops, I'm actually gonna put that all over my lid. I wasn't gonna do that, but I think I am going to. Okay, before I put glitter on my eyes, I'm gonna quick tight line. I'm just using the Wet n Wild Coal uh, Eyeliner Pencil in Simma Brown now. And I did decide to bring it down a little bit and then I took my finger and smudged it out a little bit for a little baby baby wing. There, I think I sort of got it even. Okay, now let's top it off with some of this. So it's actually, you don't need very much of this. <laughs> a little bit goes a long way. And I think some of them were meant to be more toppers like this one and some of the other shades looked like they're meant to be more of like metallic eyeshadows. I specifically picked one to be a topper. So I actually don't have a lot of glitter toppers. I'm gonna bring it a little closer. Okay, so I put it on the back of my hand. I am taking a little bit now on my finger and I'm just gonna kind of tap it in the center because I just kind of want a scattered glitter effect. I don't want like super, super intense today. Fun! Yeah, I just wanted kind of that snow globe effect. Oh, <gasps> it's so fun. But again, if you wanted to, you could really amp up the intensity with this one. Oh my goodness, I'm loving it. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, which I just did a, a pretty in-depth review of this one. So if you are looking for a review on this, definitely check out that video. Sometimes with this mascara, I need to use a lash comb. Today, I think it should be okay, as long as I don't try to add any more. <laughs> there. I am happy with that. Have you tried the telescopic? What do you think? Okay, now for lips, I'm just gonna wipe off my lip balm. You know there's always like four million lip glosses I wanna try, <laughs> and I try not to buy lip glosses. So I decided to try out this lip vinyl, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm doing good, <laughs> from uh, Maybelline. So this is a Superstay Vinyl Ink. This has been getting a lot of hype, so I've been wanting to try it. So I have the shade number 15 Peachy, which, lives up to its name, it is very peachy. This is one of those products that it does say to shake it, so I'm gonna shake it up. All right, I kind of zoned out there, and so it should be really well shaken. <laughs> I shook it for a long time. So I'm gonna wipe off any like excess product. I don't want too much. And I'm gonna start with the top lip. I'm gonna try it without lip liner today. It might have been a mistake. I might have needed a lip liner. There we go. All right, I'm gonna wait for that to set down a little bit and then I think I am gonna add a little bit of lip liner, just some NYX Nude Truffle. Now I have to ask you guys, I know these have been very popular, so a lot of you guys have tried them. Do they fully set down for you? For me, they remain sticky. Like it gets to the point where they're almost completely transfer proof, but if I press my lips together, even when my lips feel dry, I still get a bit of a stick. And the first time I used it, I thought maybe I just didn't shake it well enough. Like is there, maybe it was something with that, but every time I use it, I really shake it. <laughs> so I, that can't be the reason. Oh, my lip liner needs to be sharpened. I don't even know where I got that sharpener from. I've had that for, it's gotta be 20 years. Yep. <laughs> it was in the bottom of my makeup bag for a good decade. <laughs> I rarely used it, but it still works fine. And I use it a lot more now. Okay, anyway, let's add a little bit of definition. Mm. I don't know if that helped. It might have made it worse, but I'm going with it because I don't want to fuss with it anymore. All right, I'm going to fluff my hair and put in some earrings. I'll be right back for final thoughts. Well, I feel like this month's foray into drugstore makeup was very successful. I really like the blush. I really like the e.l.f. glitter topper. I think it is so fun. I'm enjoying this Pacifica, pa Pacifica palette. <laughs> it's hard for me to say. More than I thought I would. I like the L'Oreal sty brow stylist. 
I'm enjoying the telescopic mascara. I'm still getting my thoughts together on this, but I really like how my base looks today. I think it looks very, very nice. The only thing that I'm not sure about is the lip vinyl, which really surprised me. It's just, it feels so sticky. Like, <laughs> and I made sure not to put on a thick layer, so. Let me know what your guys' experience is with this. All right, if there's anything that you feel I really need to try from the drugstore or affordable makeup, just whatever, let me know down below. I have a running list. It's gonna take me a long time to get through my own list, but I'm always happy to add to my list. <laughs> so definitely let me know down in the comment section. What's your favorite stuff from the drugstore you've been trying lately? I would love to try the, um, the, the stuff that's been out for a really long time, like people's holy grail things that I just haven't tried yet. And even new stuff. I get caught up in the hype too. I gotta try the new stuff sometimes. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. I hope that you have a splendid day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.